Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about uh, gallows field GF of p power n. In our last class, we clearly discussed about GF of p, how it is working as a field. And in our previous classes, we already discussed about field. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, so what is field? Field contains a set of elements. On this set of elements, we are going to apply two binary operations. If these two binary operations satisfies the properties of a group, then we say it as a field. So what is GF of P means? So GF of P contains set of elements. Which set of elements that contains in GF of P? 0, 1, 2, so on up to P minus 1. These are the set of elements that belongs to GF of P. On this set of elements, we are applying addition and multiplication operation. If this two satisfies the properties of group, then we say this as a field. So now try to understand, in this class we are going to understand the set of elements that belongs to GF of P power N and one of the binary operation, addition binary operation. In our next class, we are going to understand the multiplication binary operation how we will do multiplication on a gf of p power n in our next class. Later on, we are going to take an example and understand whether it is satisfying the properties of a group or not. Means uh, inverse element exists or not, identity element, which one we consider it as identity element, all these things discussed in our next, next class. Now try to understand what's the set of elements that belongs to gf of p power n. See here, here p means prime number. n means you can take any integer. So let's take an example gf of 2 power 2 means p is 2 prime number. So what's the digits that belongs to p if p is equal to 2? gf of 2 0 comma 1 0 1 2 up to so on p minus 1 means here p is 2 2 minus 1 up to 1. So the elements are 0 comma 1. Here n shows that n digit numbers. So here n is equal to 2 means 2 digit numbers on this digits. 2 bit words. So what are the possible 2 bit words using 0 comma 1? GF of 2 power 2 is equal to 2 bit words on 0 comma 1 which is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1. These are the elements that belongs to gf of 2 power 2. Let's take one more example. gf of 2 power 5 means 5 bit words. 0 0 0 0 0. This is 1 0 0 0 0 1. So on all the possibilities of 0 and 1 using 5 bit words. How many 5 bit words are possible? These are similar as our binary numbers. How many 5 bit words are possible? 2 power 5 possibilities are there which is 32 bits or 32 different words are possible. So the set of elements that belongs to GF of 2 power 5 is 32 elements are there. That set of elements, 32 set of elements. These set of elements can be represented in a polynomial form. GF of 2 power 5 can be represented in polynomial form. Zero, let's take one, one of the uh, 5 bit word from the gf of 2 power 5 0 double 1 0 1 this can be represented as 0 x power 4 plus next one is 1 1 x cube plus next one is 1 1 x square plus 0 x power 1 plus 1 x power 0 this is how we write it in the polynomial form and now these 0 terms can be excluded because the quotient value is 0 and the exponent value is x power 4. If quotient is 0, there is no value for it. So that's why x cube plus x square plus 1. This is the shortcut form. Before this, you need to have 1. Quotient is 1. Instead of writing 1, simply write it as x cube. This is the short form. This is how we represented our elements in polynomial equation form. So gf of 2 power 5 is these are the set of elements. Now try to understand the addition operation on this set of elements. 
so gf of p power n also satisfies two operations one is addition second one is multiplication what's addition operation let's take two elements from gf of 2 power n let's assume that x cube plus x square plus 1 this is one element x power 4 plus x cube plus x another element we have written it in polynomial form this is shortcut form you if you expand it 0 x power 4 plus 1 x cube plus 1 x square plus 0 x plus 1 instead of because the terms are not there means quotient value is 0. So 1 x power 4 this is how we write the second one. Here addition means what, what we do in a polynomial addition. Take the terms 1 x power 0, 0 x power 0. The, you have to add the quotients which is having the same exponent. So these terms should be added x power 1 x power 1 same exponent so these coefficients should be added 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 here the point you need to understand here addition means we have to follow gf of 2 addition means addition modulo p here p is 2 1 plus 0 1 modulus 2 which is 1 that is what we have to follow here 0 plus 1 1 1 mod 2 which is 1 again 1 plus 1 2 2 mod 2 which is 0 that is what we have to follow here here quotient addition means here addition means gf of 2 addition this is what we have done in gf of 2 and in the short form you can do addition which is gf of 2 addition means you are going to get the xor operation these discussions made in our last class instead of doing mod 2 operation the same output you are going to get is xor operation output so 1 0 1 1 0 xor 0 1 1 xor 0 1 1 xor 1 0 0 xor 1 1 so this is what addition operation in gf of 2 power n. So this is the output which you are going to get. In this can be made it as a short form. Eliminate the 0 terms. Write it uh, eliminate the 1 x power 4 plus x square plus x plus 1. Finally addition operation will be like. So if you if you want to eliminate all these polynomial equation forms and remove this. Simply you can take two elements from the set do xor operation. If you do the XR operation for this two, you are going to get the output. Hope you understand the set of elements that belongs to GF of 2 power n and the addition operation in GF of 2 p power n. In our next class, we are going to discuss multiplication operation. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.